Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon just before Friday Monday morning podcast. And I'm just checking in on you today. Hey, what's going on? How are you? It's uh, really Thursday afternoon. Um, I forgot it was Thursday. I've been so fucking busy doing something that I'm not allowed to announce yet. Wink, 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 wink. Um, for whatever fucking reason. And uh, my phone shit the bed. My phone shit the bed. My fucking red. Um, my phone shit the bed. And uh, so I had to go over to Verizon and uh, see what the fuck was wrong with it. Turns out when I went to oh. Canada, none of our teams are in the playoffs, but we still have syrup. Let's all start a fucking riot. When I went up there, I didn't have a cell phone plan, so Verizon just decided out of the fucking blue to, um, I don't know, just put some sort of block on the thing so I wouldn't get some sort of extra charges, which I had already resigned myself to getting. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm not getting the plan. I'm up here for three, four days. I'll have a big cell phone bill. What do I give a fuck? I don't give a shit. You want me to write some numbers on a piece of paper and then you stick it in the thing and then the numbers show up on the screen? I mean, that's how much what money means to to me at this fucking point. It's just like, well, what, what, do, what do you want me to write on the little piece of paper? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? When we put a smiley face in the zeros, that's all we're doing. None of us has anything of value. We just got a bunch of stuff in a fucking house. Oh, Jesus, Bill, you going down this? I am. I am going down this road. How many people do you know have anything? Have a fucking piece of silver, some gold, whatever happened to us? We used to be gentlemen. All right, our wenches stayed home. We rode around on a donkey with our curly cued mustaches. We had a little satchel of fucking gold or some shit, right? Then some bandits would come along and they'd take it from you, right? All dressed in green with their fucking, you know, leotards on. All that Robin Hood shit, right? And there was some brought up in the tower. All of that is gone. It's all gone now. Now you work all week. They give you a little piece of paper. It's got some numbers on it. You stick it into the ATM and then the numbers show up, right? Somebody goes, hey, you owe me some money. All right, I'll write some numbers on a fucking piece of paper. You go, all right, thank you. You know, it all works until it doesn't. And then what are you, you're just going to have, a, you're not going to have anything. So anyways, yeah, so I don't give a fuck. What, what, I have a big cell phone bill. What do I give a shit if it's more numbers on a piece of paper? It's, it's not, I don't know. I guess at the end of the day, it is worth something. But I, I just, I don't give a shit about a high cell phone bill. And I don't give a shit about Sky Miles. I, I just don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? You know, like when you have some miles with somebody and they go, oh, you, you better use these. You better use, oh, they're going to expire. I always call them up. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I want you to know you can keep them. I don't need your fucking miles. All right, take them now. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Stop threatening me with your stupid fucking miles. If I, if I need a plane ticket, I'll buy one. Anything to not have to go into your fucking website and figure out where I can fly with my so-called free miles. I already paid for them. They're not free, you cunts. Oh, God, I'm in a mood. So anyway, so my phone didn't fucking work. So whatever. So I went up there and they put a block on it so I wouldn't uh, have to write a bigger number on a piece of paper and send it to them so they can stick it in their ATM machine. And uh, when I came back, it was still blocked. So I went over to the Verizon place Turned out the person who helped me out was a fucking listener, right? And he's trying to help me fix the phone. And what's killing me is his company did the thing to my phone that's now made my phone fucked up, and they can't figure out how to undo it. And, uh, you know, I tried as long as I could to keep my cool. I didn't flip out that, but I dropped a couple of F-bombs. I'm glad he told me that, you know, he was a listener of the podcast because, you know, if he didn't say that, then I just would have been, you know, I wouldn't have been on my best behavior. And uh, I would have said fuck a lot more. Um, it took me two trips over there. Because then they were like, all right, well, I think we fixed it. This is like an hour later. I think we fixed it. And uh, it should, you know, reboot by tomorrow morning. So I was like, all right, fine. You know, I get back to the office. I can't fucking, you know, I go to text my lovely wife. It's not going through. I'm like, what the fuck? So I said, well, maybe I'll call her because I wanted her to take 
the uh, the Capitals against the fucking Flyers. I wanted her to tape the game, you know, and uh, I went to call up and it just I called her number and it just goes, welcome to Verizon. Please enter your last four digits of your social security number. Please enter this. By pressing one, you agree to a two year contract with Verizon. If you come out early, you will, you'll always support. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I, uh, I had to end up having to go back to the fucking place. And um, this other guy got on it. And he figured out what the fuck was wrong with it. So now my phone is fine. So I've just I've had one of those fucking days. So when I was in there, I was just thinking, you know, and I was just like, you know, I can't listen to my music. And they were like, oh, that's because it's on the cloud. And I was like, I never wanted to be on the cloud. I don't want to be on that fucking thing. I don't want you guys seeing what the fuck I'm doing? Leave me alone. I keep opting out of that fucking thing. But every time I reboot my phone, it just fucking automatically starts back up or some shit. You fucking nosy, nerdy cunts. They always sit like acting like they're doing you a fucking favor. You know, someone was telling me that that, that shit about them sharing your private information, I, which I've said the entire fucking time that they should get your permission first. And certainly if they go and resell it, you ought to get a cut of it, right? I mean, it's your personal information, too. They act as a broker. Shouldn't you get a fee? I guess that's in the the Supreme Court. That's what somebody told me who wasn't a lawyer, and I can't even remember who it was. Um, So anyway, so as I'm sitting there, uh, as as time's going by, I started looking at the flip phones, and I was like, oh, man, I love these things. Flip phones were great, you know, little fucking... Size of a hockey puck, not even the size of a hockey puck, right in your pocket, you know what I mean? But what killed me was they all had a camera on them, which I don't fucking like. And I didn't have time to ask the guy, I was like, do you just have a flip phone that has no fucking camera on it? And maybe I'll go back to this. And I, and I, asked, the other, I asked the other guy, these are all young guys, right? Born in the 90s, right? So I'm like, do they still sell, sell iPods? And he's like, yeah, Apple Store, Best Buy or whatever. So I say, fuck it, I'll just put all my music on the fucking, my iPod, Right? And then I'll just get one of these flip phones. And I was really trying to think what the fuck I would be missing out on. It would take me longer to text. My pictures wouldn't be as good. Who gives a fuck? My video wouldn't be as good. Who gives a fuck? And uh, you know what the deal breaker was? The GPS system. I don't want to go back to having a Tom. I still have a Thomas guide in my fucking Prius. I don't want to have to go back to looking up shit. I mean, as much as I would like to use my brain to do that again, out of all the things that they've made easier... um, I think, uh, you know, I, I got to give it up as much as a, as, a, as a curmudgeon that I am. The, uh, the, the fucking thing telling you where to go is great, you know, even though I've probably already bitched about it on the podcast. And, and that was sort of the deal breaker. I was like, well, I got I to have one of those, right? I at least got to have that. I don't want to go back to looking at fucking maps and shit, you know, although I could figure it out. Most of it. I don't know. I think what would end up happening is not the social aspect of it. It would be the business aspect. I don't do the Uber thing. So I wouldn't be missing out on that. And I don't fucking order food that way, do I? No, I don't. I don't even know what the fuck I have it for. Is this still a podcast? Or is it just me just fucking... Well, I've always babble. 